What is up guys, my name is Ignas, welcome back to the channel. For today's dividend comparison I want to bring up three semiconductor equipment manufacturing names. So the first one is Applied Materials, ticker symbol AMAT. The stock has been performing poorly this year, lower for 38.7% on the year to date. One year's performance is a bit better but still down for 30.47%. And in the last 5 years the stock went from $4 to $1.31 in 2017 to $98.44 in 2022, up for 137.30%. Applied Materials is one of the largest foundry names, with a market cap of $85.31 billion, and this year with the stock price going down, they are trading at a dividend yield of 1.06%. So this will be the first name out of the free for today's comparison. And second being LAM Research, ticker symbol LRCX. Similarly, on the year today, the stock is down for 37.69%. In one year, the price is lower for 30.13%. And in the last five years, the stock went from 104 to $1 in 2017, up for almost 220% in five years, to over $450 per share. Market cap is a bit lower than applied materials, now at $62.71 billion and their annual dividend is higher at 1.33%. Now third name is KLA Corporation, ticker symbol KLAC. On the year to date it is now only lower for 21.34%. Surprisingly one year's performance is positive at 6.2%, and in five years the stock went from $91.51 to $304 per share now, higher for 273.98%. The market cap is the lowest out of the three at $51.07 billion, with a dividend yield in between at 1.23%. So these are the three chip equipment names that we will be comparing, and to make that possible let's go into Google Sheets. So for this dividend comparison on applied materials, LAMB and KLA, we'll be looking into five different metrics. Dividend yield, dividend payout ratio, years of consecutive dividend increases, 5-year compound annual dividend growth rate, and the dividend yield compared to its 5-year average. The company with the best metric under each factor will get a point, then we'll sum the results up, and in the end the stock with the most points will be considered the winner of this comparison. I believe the rules were easy to follow, so let's start. So the first metric we'll be taking a look into is the dividend yield. It is calculated by taking the annual dividend per share and dividing it by the share price. Applied Materials is currently paying a dividend of $1.04, so at the current price of $97.68, that is a dividend yield of 1.07%. Now changing to LAM Research, they are paying an annual dividend of exactly $6 per share, so if the stock is currently trading at $451.64, that is a dividend yield of 1.44%. And for KLA, the dividend is at $4.20, meaning that at a price of $342.23, we have it at a dividend yield of 1.24%. Second metric for the comparison is the dividend payout ratio. Percentage here shows how much of company's earnings are paid back to investors as dividends. So in applied materials case, the dividend payout ratio is at 11.73%, meaning that just over one-tenth of company's earnings are paid back to shareholders as dividends. Now let's take a look into LAM research, and their dividend payout ratio is at 15.65%. So that is 4% higher than we saw for applied materials, and in the case of KLA, payout ratio is at 17.43%, so almost one-fifth of company's earnings are paid as dividends. Now third metric is the number of years of consecutive dividend increases. So for how many years the company have increased dividends for at least one quarter every year? In applied materials case they have been increasing dividends for the last five years. If we go to LAMB research, the result here is even better at seven years of consecutive dividend increases, and surprisingly for KLA that is even better, as they have been increasing dividends for 13 years straight. Now metric number four is the compound annual dividend growth rate. We'll take the 5-year average, including the next year's estimate. So for applied materials, the 5-year growth rate is at 5.39%. Now if we take LAM research, the growth here is a bit higher at 9.57%, and it is similar with KLA, with 5-year compound annual growth rate at 8.14%. Now the last metric we are comparing is the dividend yield under its 5-year average, and for that we'll be using my dividend investing watchlist. So we are in the tab for applied materials, and here we have the company's dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years. Out of this information we can calculate that on average in 5 years the dividend yield was at 1.16%. 
This means that the best time to get in was back in 2019, where we had the dividend yield at 2.04%, higher than that 5 year average by 75.5%, and the worst yield was in 2021, at 0.63%, under average by almost half at minus 45.80%. But if we would be getting into the stock right now at 1.07%, that is now just under that average at minus 7.95%. So we aren't getting the best yield of those last 5 years, but we are coming real close to that average again. So this will be the number that we are comparing. Now let's switch to LAM research. We have its dividend yield history, and on average in 5 years the dividend yield was at 1.4-4%. So the best dividend yield was back in 2018, at 2.52%, over average for 75.29%, and worst time in the first half of 2021, with a yield of 0.81%, under average for 43.66%. But if we take the yield right now at 1.44%, that is under average by only 6.79%. And for the scale A, with a 5-year average dividend yield of 1.84%, so we saw the best yield back in 2018 at 2.98%, over the 5-year average for 62.21%, and worst one by the end of 2021 at 0.84%, under average for 48.83%. Now currently we still have the yield low at 1.24%, meaning that it is now still way under average at minus 42.50%. Now if you would be interested in doing a similar analysis for yourself, you are able to access this watchlist by following the first link at the top of the description. Otherwise feel free to add the ticker symbol in the comment below, and I'll consider adding that into my watchlist here. Maybe you would like to share some interesting opportunities out there that I'm still missing. So we have looked through all of those 5 metrics, and the results are in our table. So now we can start assigning points. LAM Research gets the first point for the highest dividend yield at 1.44%, a point goes to Applied Materials with the lowest dividend payout ratio at 11.73%, KLA wins this metric with 13 years of consecutive dividend increases, LAM Research has the highest compound annual dividend growth rate at 9.57%, and the same stock is now trading at a dividend yield which is closer to its 5-year average at minus 6.79%. So we can calculate results, Applied Material got 1 point, LAM Research 3 and Kelly Corporation 1. This means that with 3 points and a clear lead, LAM Research is considered the winner of this comparison. And that was it, make sure to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video. Which of the free chip fab names do you prefer? Share your stance on it in a comment below. If you would be interested in getting access to my dividend investing watchlist, then consider memberships. By becoming a member, you will get access to Discord, where I share all my Google Sheets documents and all the bites and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. Last week, I've looked into several other companies, so if you would be interested in those, then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side. Thank you for watching, and I will be seeing you all in the next one.